Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be doing an unboxing on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Refine on Boost Mobile. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box and some of the specs here. It has a 5.5 inch touchscreen display, up to 31 hours of talk time, it has 2 gigabytes of RAM, as well as 32 gigabytes of storage, and a 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor. On the back here, some more specs back here, a 3300 milliamp hour battery, 13 megapixel main, and 13 megapixel front facing camera, 4G LTE LTE plus with 2x20 carrier aggregation, and HPUE, and like I said, 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor. So let's go ahead and tear this box open. All right, we'll pull this box out of here and we'll see what now comes in here. So, got the phone on top here. We'll pull it out to the side. You have your terms and conditions and booklets there. You have a SIM removal tool there, so we'll leave that in the box. Got your Samsung wall adapter there, as well as your micro USB charging cable there. So, that's all that pretty much comes in this box. Let's go ahead and put all this away and we'll look at the phone. Okay, so the phone is now in hand, so I want to run through a few things with y'all here before going any further. Now, this phone here right now, at the time of this recording, you can buy at Walmart for $149. Uh, I'll be Best Buy and BoostMobile.com sells it for $229.99. Uh, however, right now on BoostMobile.com, I believe there's a promo code you can enter to give you 20% off Android devices for right now. So that would knock the price down from you know, 229 to like 184 plus taxes and stuff like that so i don't know what do y'all think i mean this phone right here costs, costs 149 at walmart plus tax so you're going around, around 158 160 depending on where you what state you live in um but look at the phone here you got, you got your front facing camera up there of course you got your receivers your sensors your 5.5 inch display standard standard size no 18 by 9 nothing like that just standard uh, got your back home button here and your recess button on the left is your space volume rocker your sim and sd tray down there on top is a secondary mic on the bottom is your micro usb charging port headset jack and microphone and on the right is your power button and speaker and the back is your camera flash and your samsung brandon so uh you know honestly i was kind of hoping this phone would have like three gigabytes of ram you know, touch a fingerprint sensor, you know, maybe a front flash would have been nice for the price point, but, you know, it's what it is. So, let's go ahead and give this phone here its first boot up. So, we've got Samsung J7 Refine there, powered by Android. So, very interested to see how this phone's going to work. So, I'll go ahead and get this phone here all set up, and I'll come back in a few. Okay, everyone. So, the phone is now set up and ready to go, and the phone has a very similar experience here to, uh, the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and all like that. Swipe up here to access your app drawer. Swipe up again to make it go away. Uh, swipe left and right here. Got your big speed right there as well. Um, so it looks really nice. The screen looks nice. Now, I'm been used to these 18 by 9 aspect ratio phones here for a while. So this here feels a bit more bigger in the hand. Um, but still looks and feels really nice. I kind of like this color. This color looks really nice in my personal opinion. I uh, got your drop down here, of course, as well. I uh, got all your stuff here like Wi Fi, sound, Bluetooth, airplane mode, flashlight, uh, blue light filter, smart view. Got Dolby Atmos here, mobile data, all that stuff. You can also go in here and edit, I believe. Yeah, by going up here and pushing the button order and button grid. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here in the settings. And you'll see up here is your connections. So you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, phone visibility, data usage, airplane mode location, and more connection settings there for your printing, VPN, and nearby device scanning. You also have your mobile hotspot and tethering right there. Bluetooth tethering, USB tethering, mobile hotspot, stuff like that notification sounds display here so you can change your brightness auto brightness of course blue light filter your font and screen zoom uh, screen mode you can change it to adaptive display cinema photo or basic you can also change it to a cooler or warmer tone if you wish you got advanced options here you can change the colors and all that kind of stuff on this device so we'll leave that alone for right now uh, you got home screen 
so you could so you have your home screen layout here for home and app screens or just a home screen only so you can change that if you'd like to easy mode on or off icon frames you can do it with or without screen timeout block accidental touches screen saver and all that good stuff there down here at advanced features you got games so manage useful features while you play games one handed mode quick launch camera multi window uh, direct call smart alert easy mute all this stuff here dual messenger and all of that so a lot of a lot of good features here on this phone now device maintenance here we will look at the storage so it looks like out of 30 gigabytes 8.5 gigs has already been used so you have 23.5 gigabytes available out of the box as soon as you power the phone on and you do have 2 gigabytes of RAM with that 3300 milliamp hour battery now you got apps lock screen here so you have screen lock type clock style roman clock face widgets contact information stuff like that biometrics and security so it does not have a fingerprint scanner but it does have face recognition i will try that out at a later time uh, so no fingerprint scanner but it does have face recognition on this device uh, cloud and accounts google accessibility general management system updates help and about phone so we'll go ahead and see what kind of version of android it's running so it is running 8.0.0 oreo with samsung experience version 9.0 so uh yeah i mean it's just kind of one of those basic phones so let's take a quick look here into the camera and see what kind of specs we have going on in here so you got um these effects here mode stuff like that so we'll just go ahead and wait on it. you got bixby vision here you got stickers there uh, this is of course your shutter button you can left and right to zoom in and out if you wish so that's kind of a nice feature there up top here of course is your settings so we'll go ahead and look up here it has a 13 megapixel camera you can record in full hd one by one hd 720 by 1280 and vga the front camera is also 13 megapixel you can also record in the same resolution in the front as you can in the rear so really nice stuff there your shoot methods here is tap screen to take selfies or show your palm take a picture You've got timer grid lines uh, floating camera button volume key function stuff like that so um let's go this way here you got your auto mode your pro mode panorama continuous shot hdr rich tone night sports and sound and shot this way here gives you just a few effects you know like autumn cream deep forest classic stuff like that so there's some decent camera features i guess you would say uh but i am really interested to see just how good this camera looks now on the front camera here just from a sample it looks really nice um but of course i will be taking some you know pictures and video tests with this device to see how it's going how it's going to do and how it's going to look so overall i mean i don't know for 229 at the retail price i mean i would have loved i would have loved to have seen a fingerprint scanner on this device i would have loved to have seen an extra gigabyte of ram you know a front facing flash come back would have been nice like, like the 2015 version um but i mean it basically feels like a j7 perks you know same side speaker there you know i mean the clicky home button right there was just, i kind of always like that clicky home button um but the phone looks and feels really nice so y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think of the j7 refine uh, this does have an exynos processor it was the exynos 70a85 uh so interested to really try this phone out here test its performance gameplay all that kind of good stuff so this was helpful and informative in any way hit that like button any questions you may have leave it below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would really appreciate it y'all have a good one and thanks for watching